In the tradition of nine freshmen who in 1805 formed the first class of South Carolina College, the class of 2015 started their college career at Carolina on August the 18th. This is a class that was selected from the largest, the brightest, and the most diverse pool of high school applicants ever, both in Columbia and throughout the system. We now serve more South Carolinians than ever. In fact, nearly half of the state's sons and daughters enrolled in a public college today are enrolled in the universities of South Carolina. We're honored as, as well that students from all 50 states Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia and from 113 nations are also enrolled in our university. Our students and their families recognize what has been reflected in national publications and rankings. Last year the Princeton Review listed us as a top 50 best value public university, the only South Carolina university on the list. And Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine described us as a top choice in the nation and one that delivers, quote, the best BA for the buck, end of quote. And we continue to, to cherish the designation by the Carnegie Foundation as being in the top tier of American research universities. Coupled with Carnegie's assessment of our community engagement, we're only one of 23 elite public universities to be included in both top rankings. In my three years as president, I've been dedicated to creating a leadership environment where personal accountability, new and open thinking, civil discourse, and respect are the hallmark values. Leadership is evident in the creative and innovating, innovative work of our faculty and our progress during the last few years has been noticed. Our faculty ranks were strengthened by three National Academy members, three fellows of the American Council of Learned Societies, and one National Medal of Science winner. These and our other outstanding faculty members work to help us set another milestone record for federal research funding this past year. And Dr. Igor Roninson has joined our Translational Cancer Therapeutic Center in the South Carolina College of Pharmacy. We also welcomed four new deans, Dr. Steve Lynn of the South Carolina Honors College, Dr. Anna Chayette in the College of Social Work, Dr. Lemuel Watson, College of Education, and Dr. Rob Wilcox in the School of Law. Also, while unable to join us today, I welcome Dr. Tom Moore as our new Chancellor at USC Upstate. This past year, through the generosity of our alumna and highest benefactor, Darla Moore, we were able to begin planning the Ronald E. McNair Center for Aerospace Innovation and Research, which will help to create a cluster of knowledge-based aerospace companies, including Boeing and many smaller companies too, by providing applied research development and by creating the future aerospace workforce. Life without participation is like being a passenger in a journey without knowing where you're going. Without participating as a citizen of the university or indeed of our great country through community service and through voting means that we have less of a voice in our future. And without innovation, South Carolina and America will be in danger of losing the edge that has created the most resourceful, creative, and industrious people in history. The University of South Carolina must and will contribute to America's spirit of innovation. And finally, to lead. All of our state and, our state and national universities provide a good education. However, few are the universities who accept a role in leading their state to higher levels of economic performance 
and social well-being, and who can actually deliver on that promise. This is the promise of a flagship university, carrying the flag of its state, seeing the name of its state embedded in its own name. This is the university for South Carolina, the one who participates, who innovates, and who leads. Our Gamecock spirit is evident in all we do, and this is the best year for all of us as individuals to participate, innovate, and lead.